So there are certainly differences between those who have had a few bad nights and are starting to struggle with sleep versus those who have had insomnia for a year, five years, 10 years. I think the people who are just initially struggling with, with sleep problems uh, often find that it's very stress related and that there's some acute stressor in their life that is creating the sleep difficulty. So relationship problems or work problems or financial problems or, or whatever it is. And often one of the strategies of course is to deal with and not avoid whatever it is that's creating the stress. Because generally what we find for most people is that when the acute stress goes away, sleep goes back to normal. And it's only a subset of people that go on to develop chronic sleep problems. And to get good sleep, we need to feel okay in our bodies, not have too much illness or pain, and our minds need to be settled as well. Not too much hyper arousal or worry, and churning over things, or anticipation of things. As we all know, often it's the rumination and the anticipation that can keep us awake at night. Um, the next thing that folks who are having um, short term sleep difficulties can do is focus on uh, what we call sleep hygiene. So that's really basic stuff like getting exercise during the day, but no later than two or three hours before you get to bed. Making sure that you don't eat or drink alcohol two or three hours before you go to sleep. Making sure that you don't look at any screens or use the internet or TV an hour before bed because those screens emit blue light and that light actually causes the brain to produce chemicals that help you to stay awake. The, the reason that we like to do that is that Actually, the, one of the reasons that somebody will continue to have sleep problems even after the initial stress resolves is that they've dealt with those sleep problems in an ineffective way that actually creates a long-term insomnia. Then what happens is that people try to compensate for that poor night of sleep and what they do is they decide to spend more hours in bed or they take naps and they do all these sorts of things that actually sabotage their sleep and those become a habit. And so if someone can focus on proper sleep hygiene behaviors, they can help prevent an acute episode of a few bad nights from turning into a long-term episode of chronic insomnia.